is Sasha for netbooknews.com. I'm finally back in Taipei in my small little shoebox apartment over here in downtown Taipei. And um, uh, I just wanted to upgrade uh, my Acer Spire um, timeline 3810. That's this little machine over here, an ultra thin uh, with the Intel um, SU 9400. And I'm going to pimp it with this little one core 128 gigabyte uh, Pro 4 SSD, super fast. One core, one of our main sponsors on Netbook News. And yeah, let's take a look uh, how this works out. And I'm going to install Windows 7 Ultimate on it. And uh, I just wanted to let you know, uh, I just wanted to show you how fast you can install uh, Windows on your system with uh, an SSD. So let's uh, take a look. So here we go, the Acer Aspire Timeline 3810 TG, that's the, word, uh, the version with the uh, 3G module, so I can get online wherever I am. And that's my little Rancor Pro 4, 128 GB. And let's see how we can get rid of this old um, HDD. My version came with a 320 GB one. And we can easily upgrade this one over here. Just unscrew this, and there we go. That was quick. So we need to get the new SSD into this little frame. Oops. Oh, make sure you have the right screwdriver for this. This should be a little bit tricky for me. But you know what? Just for testing, we can of course just get the SSD in there. If it would work. How about getting this little adapter? So, uh, <laughs> I hope you are watching this video before and you're not trying to kill your system. Here we go. That should do it. Come on. That's it. Okay, you know, if you really want to use it, make sure you're using this little frame or this little drive bay because, you know, this is a little bit loose here. But uh, just to show you how it works and how fast it is, you know, this should work out. Let's get the screws back in. Of course, it's not getting a little bit stability when I'm closing it again. But still, you know, make sure to get your SSD or whatever upgrade HDD you want to use back into the frame and then you're ready to go and you shouldn't have any problems at all. So due to the fact that my Acer has no optical drive at all, um, I have a little external one from light on. This was like about 50 bucks, a DVD writer. So I bought this here at the Ganghua Computer Market, downtown Taipei. And, you know, for 50 bucks, I think that's a bargain. Um, let's connect this. And then we are ready to install it. Okie dokie. Maybe some power. This can take a while, and let's see, whoa, it's all about the glossy displays. Okay, wow, that's kind of interesting, it still has, um, I wasn't really switching it off, so somehow it still had our, my Windows Vista in the memory. <laughs> 
I hope I haven't killed the whole system now. We're going to see. This. Okay, that's better. So, let's switch this on. Let's go directly to the buyers, which should be F2. Okay. You know what? Actually, there's still um, there's still a Windows 7 installation from a Samsung NC10 on this system. So I need to go to the setup first, into the BIOS. So there you can see Run Core. That's my little new one. So let's uh, get wait. Oh, is that gonna change? F5 and F6. Okay, let's get this one up and use the run core as a second boot device and then we are good to go. So, let's see. Of course, you know, we're going to Going to fast forward a little bit in the video. Needs to uh, the playback is a little bit faster uh, after a while because I I think you don't want to see like 15 minutes of copying files because I'm pretty sure um, we can install Windows 7 in just uh, 15 minutes on the system. Um, by the way, I'm using Windows 7 Ultimate, and uh, I think I that that's a German version of it. So let's see. You know, especially copying all these small little system files. That's where you're getting a huge advantage uh, with a very fast SSD. Especially on the, f the 4K uh, write benchmark is kind of important for me because that's all about these small little system files. Oh, okay. Actually, it's, <laughs> it, it, it's the English version. But I have a German keyboard, therefore I need to make sure that I'm setting this up over here. Okay. Now let's see how long this takes. Okay, of course I accept all these licenses and terms and so um, yeah let's install this on the main partition. I'm not going to do uh, different partitions. You see you can't do it over here so that's the one. Here we go.
Okay, now it's getting interesting. I think we are about five minutes or six minutes into the installation. I can't tell you right now, but I'm sure that Nicole can edit a little um, uh, clock in there. Um, let's restart it. That's good. Okay, let's take a look um, how fast the device, how my little new pimped up Acer boots up. Okay, I'm just switching it on. I'm waiting until the BIOS message is gone. And here we go. I'm pretty sure it's less than 30 seconds. Again, that's a clean installation, of course, of Windows 7 Ultimate. Here we are. Welcome message. It's loading, it's still loading. Here I'm waiting until the Wi Fi bang. There we go. Under 25 seconds, including uh, the Wi Fi card. So that's, that's pretty good, huh? Um, maybe we should also check out how long it takes to get into the hibernation. Here we go. Oh, let's hibernate it. One, two, three. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. As you can see. Bang. Ten seconds. Not bad, huh? Okay. Let's see how long it takes to wake it up. One, two, oh. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Switch it on. Here we go. Of course, I have to log in. So I mean, I would say like, you know, without the BIOS message, it would be way under 20 seconds, maybe like 15 seconds. But I think you can, you can definitely shut down your system with a fast SSD. And this one core Pro 4 is definitely a fast one. Of course, I also have some other ones. For example, um, um, this little Kingston one here. That's a Kingston X25M, which is based on uh, the Intel X25M. It's even a little bit faster when it comes to um, the 4K wide speed. Uh, so um, you might see even some better performance with this one, but I can tell you definitely that the one core is a little bit faster when it comes to the read speed. So yeah, that's my new 
a pimped Acer Aspire Timeline 3810TG with a super fast SSD in there and Windows 7 Ultimate. And this is Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.